Now you guys already know why you're here. You saw the title on the video and yes, I did 100 burpees every single day for 30 mother days, okay? Perfect. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, Petsy, what are you doing? Welcome to the family. Today's video I'm so nervous for just because it's like a really sensitive topic for me, I guess. I've always had issues with body image and really other people kind of talking down to me just for how my body is naturally. Like, I didn't ask to have big boobs, I didn't ask to have a semi big butt, I didn't ask to just be me. Like this is how I was made, this is how God created me. But for the last 30 days I decided that I wanted to go ahead and focus more on my mental and my physical health. So throughout the last few years, I've always come across BuzzFeed's little challenge videos where it's like, I did 100 push-ups for a whole month, or I did 100 abs for 30 days, I did 100 like pull-ups, but I had yet to see the 100 burpees challenge. So that's really what sparked my idea for this video. I was like, Everybody hates burpees, and I mean, I even hate them, okay, but I was like, you know what, let's go ahead, let's do the ultimate, the ultimate challenge, 100 burpees every day for 30 days, and that is exactly what I did. Alright guys, so today is day one of this challenge, I am going into it, ready to go, my energy level is right there. I'm trying to, I'm trying to stay in it, y'all. What I'm expecting from this challenge is to be pushed mentally and physically. I will definitely see how my body feels, I'm guessing, after day one. But today, we are going to go ahead and try to do as many as I can nope. in a row. And we're also going to time how long it takes for me to go ahead and complete the 100 burpees because I feel like that is going to be the best way for me to see how this has actually really improved my physical um, health. So we're going to do it like that. I'm going to set this little camera up, you know, have y'all <laughs> watch me suffer, basically. <laughs> I'm going to stop procrastinating now and we're going to get into this workout. Now, day one was literally the hardest day of this entire challenge. During the entire thing, I just couldn't see myself even finishing day one. And when I say that, I really mean it. It was the hardest I had pushed my body in so long. We are only at 30. <laughs> I need water. <laughs> Where I almost felt shameful that I couldn't even do it. We're at 36. But I had to realize that a hundred freaking burpees is hard for anybody. You guys, I'm literally only at 40 and I'm fucking dying. This is sad. <laughs> now my ultimate goal going into this was to definitely improve my endurance. So I just decided to keep pushing myself and getting through it. And honestly, the first day, it took me just about a half hour to do those entire burpees. All right, guys. Day one is officially complete. And it took me just about 30 minutes to do 100. Literally, that was torture. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to narrow that time down. I really am so excited to see at the end of the 30 days what that time does get down to. Yeah, Willow, I know. Mom feels the same. <laughs>
morning guys it is day five of this 100 burpees challenge and to be 100% honest I am so not motivated today I have no idea why I'm feeling like this but I just don't really want to do anything um my face is like breaking out so bad and I'm not feeling that well today but I don't know, I'm just like really not in the mood. Um, yeah, I gotta find some motivation. <laughs> Okay, well, day five is done. Let me just say, it was the hardest day yet. A couple days into the challenge, I ended up getting a really, really bad migraine after doing my burpees. While I was doing them, something just didn't feel right. Um, like I said, it's been a while since I pushed my body this hard, so I feel like all the changes at once just kind of, my body was like freaking out like, what is happening? Like, what is she doing? Hey guys, it is still day five. Um, I wanted to come on here because um, today after I did my burpees, I ended up getting a migraine and I'm just now waking up. It's like five in the afternoon. So, um, it's really kind of discouraging and I'm trying not to get emotional about this, but it's really discouraging when this entire thing, like the reason I'm doing it is for my health and to just be better, but Life with migraines really sucks. So, at least I finished my 100 burpees before my migraine started happening, but I don't know, it's just, uh, I, can't, I don't even know what to say. I don't even know really what to even think. Um, hopefully for the rest of this, I don't have to deal with any migraines but if you are a type of person that suffers from migraines um i totally understand where you're coming from yeah hopefully this challenge not only can make me look better <laughs> get my body snatched but improve my health as well because life with migraines is not fun and for anybody out there that doesn't suffer from migraines um i just want you guys to know that it's more than just a headache especially migraine with aura or hemiplegic migraines like if you have a family member or um a co-worker anybody that says they have a migraine like take them seriously because it's not fun but yeah i guess that's it for today um hopefully the rest of this journey i don't have to deal with it so after starting this challenge and I got my first migraine during this journey, um, I definitely was a little bit taken back and also I really felt discouraged because I was working so freaking hard to do this challenge and change my health for these reasons because I've suffered from very severe migraines, uh, migraines with aura, hemiplegic migraines, like I have suffered with that for at least the past, I want to say five, five, four to five years. And to start to take initiative and be healthier and then get another migraine, like it really just tore all of my motivation down. I'm not gonna lie, I felt really depressed because it was just something in my mind of like, this is, like, is this just how I'm supposed to be? Like, is this, like, I just, there, it's almost a sense of helplessness and feeling trapped inside my own freaking body when I can't even understand why the hell 
I'm going through this. So that was one of the hardest parts about this entire thing was trying to pace myself, keep myself motivated, but also the fear of when I'm done with these burpees, am I going to get another migraine? Because throughout this entire 30 days, it did happen more than once. Now week two, I felt like I was just such a badass. I was powering through my burpees. I was waking up and first thing before I even did anything, I was doing my burpees. I was cranking them out. My times was dropping and I was just like, yes, we got this. We freaking got this. And that's when I started to see improvement. But then week three, Oh honey, week three is when I just, it was complete opposite. Still did my burpees. Today was the hardest because I really did not want to do them, but we still did them. I feel like every day it just gets harder. Week three, um, I think we went over to my mom's and we did burpees outside and that was the first time where my time started going back up. I think it went to like 14 minutes and right around that time I think I was averaging about 12 minutes and by the time I was done I was just pissed. I was like what the heck is this? Like what? Why is this? Why is this time going back up, sis? Why? <laughs> and Brendan was like, you need to just calm down. <laughs> He's like, we're outside. There's so many different variables. You're wearing jean freaking shorts. Like, we're outside. You're barefoot. Like, so I was like, you're right. You're right. There's a lot of different changes. But the rest of that week is when I really started to see my motivation kind of dwindle. And I was just like, no. I didn't want to do burpees. It was just, it was no. Now going into it on day one, I said that I didn't really want to focus on nutrition. I wanted to be just an ordinary person and really just have a controlled variable that the burpees was what was going to be the difference in this entire 30 days. But um, once my migraine started progressing and I started getting better at my times. I really started to focus more on nutrition. Okay guys, so today I think what I'm going to do is try a new shrimp recipe. It is a honey, Hawaiian honey, like garlic shrimp. I don't even know, but we're gonna try it and I will definitely let you guys know how it goes, but waiting on Brendan to get home with the rest of my ingredients. Shout out to you, babe. <laughs> and a lot of my meals were vegetable based with a protein, very like moderate carbs. Okay, this is the final result. It's the final result. Yeah. Oh my God, you guys, this is so good. I'm gonna totally leave it in the description box. I'm. This has got to be one of my new favorite recipes. I'm not even playing with y'all. This is bomb as hell. And another thing is that I allowed myself some cheat meals. Don't restrict yourself with food. Honestly, like if you can do great 90% of the time and 10% of the time you have a cheat meal, that is totally fine. This is everyday life, this is normal. You want something that you're gonna be able to maintain. And notice I say cheat meals. I didn't make it a whole day of splurging. I would just make it like one meal. So dinner, I would be like, wanna go to In-N-Out? And so we went to In-N-Out. <laughs> so guys, Brendan drug me to In-N-Out and he's forcing me to eat this. I'm, I'm not kidding. forcing <laughs> nobody to eat shit. I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. She forced me to come here now. Oh yeah, you. you're being held against your will. Yeah. Yeah. Goddamn, Carol Bassin. I feel like this is our first cheat meal, right? I've been cooking a lot since I started this challenge, so. Um, she normally doesn't was... let me eat. I have to ask for more porridge. <laughs> Lemonade to drink as well. Uh -huh. Um, And then can we also get a number two meal with no tomatoes on, or onions as well? You said no tomatoes, no onions? Yes. Okay. Uh, and for that one, can we get light lemonade? Light lemonade? Yeah. yeah. Uh, and then, uh, can I get a chocolate shake? Chocolate shake? Chocolate yeah. Shake? yeah. Uh, first up, please. All right, thank you. 
Alyssa, why did you ask for a chocolate shake? I didn't. You, yeah, she, I got you on camera no, asking for a that chocolate was shake. Guys, they told she told me to get one, and then she turned the camera on. <laughs> oh you see that? yeah. She tried to incriminate no, me. No, you, no, you even, whispered, you even whispered. You even whispered. Do you want a shake too? <laughs> no, because that's what you told me to tell you. You said whenever I have this camera, on, you better look back and ask me. Oh. And I was like this. Ma'am, would you like a chocolate shake? Hey, hey, you guys, I made a healthier decision. You guys are probably going to be like, this girl's not taking this serious. I got a single patty burger, and I usually get the double doubles. By week four, your girl was pushing through. We were chugging along, and I was determined to get that time down, hunty. Okay, I was determined. So to finally get through this entire journey, this entire process, honestly, I was so freaking happy and proud of myself for being able to do this. Yay! Burpees are officially done! Woo! I'm so excited, you guys. I'm so, I'm so excited that this is done. <laughs> but also, it was just like so anticlimactic, I guess, because when you finish something that you've worked so hard for, you want like a big old like confetti ball and you know what I mean? You just picture all this shit that you're gonna feel and think and be like once this is over. And when I was done with this, I was just like, damn, okay, I look good. And that was my reward. But little, like nobody else around me knows, like, you know? So it was kind of, like I said, it was kind of anticlimactic, but honey, I just wanna say, I have been feeling myself so much. Now, for, <laughs> The results, you guys, I was freaking blown away. So on day one, I did a before video because you know there's people out there that are like, Photoshop! So your girl was prepared, honey. I went ahead and took a before video of exactly what my body looked like. I am definitely 100% satisfied with how my end results look. I look bomb as hell and I am so proud. Now I think one thing that really helped me get through this was having some type of support system, whether it be you guys through my Instagram when I'm sharing my burpees, or it be Brendan helping me and some nights doing them with me just because I wasn't motivated enough. I feel like it really helped keep me pushing through to that finish line. So if you guys don't have friends or family to support you through this journey, you could always reach out to me on Instagram and I'll go ahead and cheer you on, girl. If I need to do some burpees with you on FaceTime, I will. <laughs> so my best advice, if any of you guys want to give this a try and you think I'm literally insane <laughs> for doing 100 burpees for 30 days, I'm just gonna tell you right now, some of my friends tried it and they realized how freaking tough it was. Day one, I swear, it was the hardest, but every single day after that, it felt like it got easier. So my best advice would be when you feel like you wanna give up and you're not motivated, just keep pushing yourself because that is the exact time when your body is building muscle, improving, and you're gonna be blown away <laughs> with exactly what you can accomplish. So I really just wanted to be real and raw with y'all. Y'all saw my messy house. Y'all saw me looking not all glam, natural hair, no makeup, sweaty, gross, but I wanted to keep it real with y'all because it's not all glamorous and not everybody has an hourglass figure and not everybody is perfect. Not everybody has perky boobs. Like when I take this bra off, honey, my boobs, they go down, okay? <laughs> so I just wanted to keep it real with y'all and, and to be 100%, I was hella nervous to even film this video because just thinking about filming myself exercising and sweating and opening myself up to a platform that could possibly be negative. I was just really honestly done with caring about what other people think, especially people that I don't even know. You need to love your body just as it is. Honestly, 
I started feeling so much better about myself. I started gaining more confidence when I realized I'm a boss ass bitch, like honestly, like I really am. Like I have been through so much stuff in my life and survived where it's just like, look at me. Look at me and look what I can do, honey. All right guys, so that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed my journey. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my entire process real raw <laughs> that was some real shit also before i end this video i do want to give a special shout out i've been forgetting to do my weekly shout outs for at least the past three videos so i apologize <laughs> but this week's special shout out goes to my girl pink pill she commented on my most recent video so if you guys want a chance for a shout out then be sure to turn those notification bells on hunty and always comment on my most recent videos that i upload anyways thank you guys so much for supporting my channel and showing me all the love <laughs> I appreciate you guys and if you like this video then don't forget to leave your girl a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one